this painting was the first painting that I've ever done entirely in oils. And I really loved this technique because I was able to do the entire painting in a relatively short amount of time. And while it isn't necessarily my best painting, the fact that I did it in only about three hours really is great news to myself because I just loved how I was able to bust it out and still got a very good product. Right now you can see that I have finished my sketch and I'm diving into painting the sky. And the sky was very simple in the beginning and I will later add in some clouds. But, uh, in case you were not able to see the sketch that I made, um, you will notice that I am basically painting the outline of the dolphin that I will eventually be painting when I do the sky. And then, when I go to the water, I do the exact same thing. Painting the water was surprisingly easy. I mixed some blue with some, uh paint medium to make it slide easier and then I mixed a little bit of green into some of it and a little bit of white into some other parts and just basically made little waves that's as simple as it was and having that little bit of green and it made all the difference and for a while I was contemplating whether I should do the uh, ocean going all the way down to the bottom of the canvas or whether I should have it so that it looked like the camera, or in this case the viewer, was um, partially underwater. So you could see the bottom part of the dolphin's tail was underwater. But I eventually decided against that. Now I'm working on the dolphin. And what's really cool about this is that I totally was unprepared for what was going to come. All I had was a picture of a dolphin po pulled up on my pho phone. Oh, yeah, I can't talk. And I would then just try and paint it up. And once again, the whole thing was in oil, so I knew that I could come back whenever I needed to, within reason, and continue to blend it some. And the whole time, I'm using just a single dagger brush, which is all you ever really need for painting with oils and the whole time I was really happy with the nice lines that it created some of the really nice textures that I could get out of it and um, as with part of the sky and water I'm using a round blender brush to do to blend in a lot of these paints which really was like the final touch. Now the hard part about this dolphin is that it's not like a bird or a mammal where the entire animal is made up of really small textures. The dolphin is like one big flat texture, smooth, and it has color differentiation but no sharp lines and it's only really nice blends which is actually really hard to do on a painting, which is why I did it with oils, and it, it could have turned out better, but still not too, uh, I'm still very pleased with how it came out. As I started to get a little bit closer to the end of the painting, I knew that I would want kind of it wasn't as good as some of my other paintings and I kind of it, it was hard to fight the urge to try and to not try to make it better with acrylics because the way I'm used to painting is you do some things in, in oils some things in acrylics and usually for me acrylics are the fine I do finer details in acrylics but this time I had to 
kind of sit back and just say, you know what, I want to challenge myself to do the whole thing in oils, even though it doesn't look perfect, it is better than some other things. So, um, as I start to wrap it up, you will notice that, uh, I go back to the sky, go back to the water, add more textures, start laying on paint really thick for some of the clouds and waves, and I, it's the kind of texture that you can get with only oils. You can't get that same kind of thick paint with acrylics, which is one of the really great things about oils. But I really had to tell myself that I should leave it as is, not trying, not trying to make it any better by going in with acrylics or just straight up spending hours trying to make it better with oils. But I hope that you really have enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this, make sure to subscribe. Um, but yeah, I really loved this painting. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.